Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up an authentication plugin on your Minecraft Pocket Edition server so that when players join your server they have to register and log in. And the plugin that we're going to be using today is SimpleAuth. So, let's get straight into it. So the first thing that we need to do when you install a plugin on your Minecraft Pocket Edition server is check that your server version is compatible with the plugin version. So if you go to the control panel for your server and go to the console and type version, it should list this and it should display an API version with a number after it. So in this case, it's API version 3 alpha 5. So now if we just remember that off the top of our heads and then go to the plugin page and there'll be a link to this in the description down below. And then on the right hand side here, you can say it says supported API versions. And you, you can see here that it supports anywhere between two and three alpha five. So that means it is compatible with our server as our server is three alpha five, as you can see here. So just make sure that the server version is compatible with the plugin version before going ahead with this tutorial. So once you've gone ahead and checked the versions, we can go ahead and install the plugin. So with SimpleAuth, you actually need to install two plugins. You need to install SimpleAuth itself and another plugin called SimpleAuth Helper. So again, just check the version is the same as your server um, for SimpleAuth Helper as well. So to install these two, you need to click the direct download button for Simple Auth Help Helper, and then go to the Simple Auth page as well and click direct download for that. There'll be a link to both of these pages down in the description down below. Once you've downloaded them both, go back to the control panel for your Minecraft server. Go to the file manager, click plugins, click upload file, choose files, choose one of the far, .far files first, click open, upload from computer, upload file again, choose files, and then we'll upload the other file that we downloaded. Click open, upload from computer again, and then restart your server. And then once your server has fully restarted, we can go ahead and take a look at the plugin in game. So as you can see, I've just joined my server and it's prompted me to register, which is fantastic. So if I type slash register and then enter a password, and then reconfirm the password, there we go, I've been successfully registered on the server. So I should now be able to walk around. I don't know if you noticed, but I wasn't able to walk around um, prior to registering. So now when a player joins your server for the first time, they'll need to register and they'll need to log in. So if I just leave the server, for example, and join back, I'll need to log in once I join. So as you can see, it says, please log in using forge slash login and then the password, which you registered with. So there we go, it's really that simple. So now, once you've installed this, you can take a look at the configuration files. So if we head back to the control panel, once you're back on the control panel, go back to the file manager, go to the plugins folder, and here you'll see two new folders. So if we first take a look at the simple auth folder, you'll see there is one new folder in here and three files. So first, let's take a quick look at config.yml. So here are all the main settings for the simple auth plugin. You can change things such as the minimum password length, um, how many times it a player can fail to log in before they get blocks. Um, you can disable the register, disable login, and then change other various settings in here. It's really self-explanatory. They all have comments next to them, so you can understand how to use this yourself. Once you've made any changes, make sure you save the file. And then let's take a look at the messages.yml file. So here, you can simply change the messages that are displayed in game. So for example, I've changed when a player joins a server, it says, welcome to my server, instead of just please register using register password. So again, you can update this to whatever you wanted it to be. So if you wanted it to be, um, how are you today? Make sure you register using and Again, you can edit all of these messages to whatever you want them to be. And make sure you include the quotations at the end and at the start for this to work correctly, otherwise it will cause problems. So once you've made any changes and checked that you've laid it out correctly, click save. And then let's take a very quick look at antihack.yml. So SimpleAuth also comes with some anti-hack features. Um, so if you want to enable this, you can just change enable to true and it will enable it. 
I personally not used this before, so I can't say how good it is or not. Um, but yeah, that's simply how you enable that. I'm going to leave it as false as I don't believe it's necessary. And then the players folder is simply going to list all the players and the details for that. Again, you don't really, you're not really going to be touching this. Um, so let's take a look at the simple auth helper folder. So in here, there's a config.yml file. And again, it's got some similar settings and you can change these at your own will. And again, they have their own comments. So it's really simple to change. So once you've made any changes to this file as well, again, click save. And then finally, once you've finished making all of your changes, click restart and that will apply them. So that's basically it. So that's how you install and configure Simple Auth and Simple Auth Helper. Both really simple plugins. And if you have any problems, feel free to contact our support. You can contact them on this web page and there'll be a link down below to where you can contact them. And feel free to suggest any new tutorials you'd like to see. So thank you for watching. I hope that you have a fantastic day and goodbye.